So in today's video, we'll be seeing a proper maintenance folder structuring of our React project. Okay, so basically not just a React project, I'll be talking about the front end as well as a back end. For the back end, basically I'm using here a Node.js and all those things. So anyways, our main point is right now for our front end, which is a uh, React. This, this can be implemented in the Angular or Vue also. So right now we'll get into the first of all, Okay, so first now I'll just open the client folder and I'll explain you what are the things I have done here. Okay, okay, right now of I now in this there are few files here. Uh, you know these things, right? Or uh, dot ignore and uh, package.json file. I'm not going to explain the file. What are they doing there? I'm just explaining the structures. Okay, how a normal structure is supposed to be. And can't call it as a normal it is actually a standard method of a folder structuring okay so first thing first a public folder inside a public folder the uh, folder there is pretty much nothing if you have any kind of a logo a uh, website logo and all you can just place it inside here and inside the src folder which is our main folder we will be having everything okay inside here i, uh, I have created an asset components and there are many files here folders here right so the first folder here is the assets in the assets folder you can actually keep your images folder and videos svgs or json files whatever you have right all those folders and files will be getting inside assets so right now in this project i have a you are api project uh, sorry api of folder in this folder i created a file api url and i'm just passing calling this backend url this is my backend route link or uh, localhost link so so that uh, there is a purpose for this one i'll show you why i'm you calls created a separate file for this only okay uh, so the next folder is our component page usually if you have seen many developers are like junior developers you can't call a senior level developers they will be using uh, this kind of a structures here uh, junior developers will be using a every other all pages will be inside a components page uh, which is at some point it was like okay at the before uh, when the react was introduced right that was the main purpose of this um, react itself so back then it was fine now the things are get get more advanced and you need to be follow the rules standard rules right so according to that we have created a separate folders for the pages right here inside the pages i have three subfolders right in one subfolder main i have a, i have this about us page contact us page home page and this is a basically subscription page uh, so what is the meaning of this folder here the this folder is a kind of folder which there is no connection between a front end and back end it is solely separate from the back end it doesn't depend on the back end so such folders can be called as a main uh, uh, like um, about us page there is no such thing from we'll be getting from the back end right and uh, contact us page home page and these things are just a designs only they will be okay so these are the other two files are back end dependent folders so in the uh, password this is my actually a password generator folder uh, project which i'm working on uh, so actually completely you can just check into my git repo and you can access this one i already deployed also uh, it's a one beautiful website i've created uh, you can take the code also from there itself anyways i uh, will get into the main topic here in this password folder i have main concept whatever the my project is depend upon right uh, this is my main folder inside that what is that main my concept here is that is a actually uh, placed inside here a dashboard and a generator okay after that in another folder i have subfolders login page and register page if you have seen here uh, there is a css for that file and a login file both files are kept separately if you i hope it's the same case about all the pages i forgot to show you there will be two files in a css files and a js file now uh, if you're using a uh, tailwind or bootstrap or material UI, that's a different case if you're not using such um uh, frameworks and all then you have to create a about us page or uh, CSS page inside that folder itself. Okay. Uh, so yeah, but, uh, this is what you know our page is about. Now we'll get into this components. What is this component about? The component is actually something 
uh, which we will be using again and again in every pages right for example this loading uh, loading is this is actually a part of a uh, I have created this code uh, whenever we are fetching data or whatever the backend operation we are doing, right? That time there might be a server time until the loading time. So, to show that, I have created a uh, I created just a basic uh, design here and I have pasted I have pasted in a components here. Uh, since I have to use this every time, right? In every pages, I will be using this loading. So, I place that in a components like that only these are the things these are the models actually ad manager delete manager uh, message pop-up profile these are the models you can place the models and all here itself these are not the pages right uh, those are opening in the same page itself for example if you see in this page vs code here uh, if i click on this manage here see this is a kind of model which opens in this only this won't redirect us to another page so such things are placed inside a component okay then this is a layout actually whatever the uh, constant things you are seeing in a page right those things are placed in the layouts for example a footer a navbar if you see in a uh, vs code itself uh, this uh, header or navbar whatever you can call this one this one a sidebar and a footer will be always the same wherever you go this one these things won't be changed right so this will be there so such things are placed in the layouts okay and the util file uh, where we will be using uh, for example this one server variables this is the so router paths i'm getting from the backend uh, i'm just created object here and storing those everything here and in pages i'll be calling that one for example i created a custom hooks here uh, this is actually another topic i will be explaining you some other day uh, what are custom hooks and if you know it's a well and good if you don't know i'll i'll make a separate video how to do the custom hooks how to use those um, there are many kind of customs you can create your own uh, as a name it suggests custom you can do it any things like with that uh, like you state use effects are there right uh, like that only you can create your own hook so such things i've created for uh, here i've been working for the method post method api uh, like <laughs> if you see here axios.post we have to do in every pages right wherever you want to post the data and all so rather than doing every time i just created once here and i'll be passing on i'll be pass i've called the url here if you remember what i showed in my assets right here api url assets I created this one, added a variable inside a API URL, and I pass this route here URL. And inside here, I'm just calling that one, that one plus URL, whichever we'll be getting from the pages and the inputs. Okay, URL is nothing but our server variables, whatever we have here, right? Anyways, it's a different topic. I'll be explaining you some other day. Okay, uh, yeah. So this is what we are placing in our util folder okay so yeah uh, this is much about the uh, client uh, client side now we'll be getting into the server side in the server side more, usually people will be doing the same thing it's not a much big deal about this one uh, like still if you want to organize your code in a better way you just need to follow these steps here inside the src folder just create a separate folder for controller model and you can create another folder as well as actually another two folders for a db and for the route files you can place your route file inside that and for a db also uh, if you see my index file right it is a simple nothing there's no much fancy items here uh, there are just 27 left lines what i'm done here is i just imported the express file and uh, pass or in express framework uh, then i'm just connecting my db you can actually uh, remove this code from here this connection and you can create a separate folder and a file you can paste there also uh, since this was a short i just added here in your only and we are calling this our we are listening output okay so the next thing here is i created a controllers folder models folder util folder in controllers we are just whatever we are managing the validations and all of a, for example this is a register page and a login login user register user like that there right so i have seen a 
can't say it's a mistake it's actually a kind of uh, old version maybe people used to do like that and they first went on following the same thing people will directly write the url i mean router path here itself in a controller file uh, which i won't support that much because even if in case right if a new developer you can come to open your folder and if he goes into this one in route.js file this is itself enough for him to understand what all the apis you have created you can just see here uh, there is no much complications in this one you just need to create a variable and you need to pass the express dot router itself okay now after that you have to import all those controller files here like i have password and user control right i imported those files and uh, calling this variable here route dot post and the whatever the url you want to give that url and a file name and the register which i showed you our function name i mean main uap function name okay i'll be giving those names and it will be good to go you can directly check that out also okay uh, so yeah uh, try to give keep this index.js file as much as low and a simple one and keep your code always clean so that no matter anyone comes to read your project site they will be able to understand what you have done and so actually good thing to follow the same routine every time right yeah and also try to add comments what you are actually what is the purpose of this one i mean these are the basic things obviously everyone should know if you are if they are coming to the back end right for example if i show you my front end here and if i go to the password dashboard and if i show i've just mentioned everything clearly in comment to fetch data to delete data like this you have to it's good to have it to uh, give in every comment like what is the what is the reason for this what you're doing here uh, so it's a uh, actually good habit to give a comments on every line or uh, what is the uh, auctions performed over there to open the mod date model everything i have just mentioned everything okay so yeah i hope that's it uh, this was uh, helpful for you if you have any doubt regarding you just can comment out here or you can kind of comment uh, you can connect me through the linkedin there also i'll be available and yeah i used to get a mess or many dms regarding that mon deployment there were many errors and all i'm sorry actually i was between busy in some other work i'll be creating another part of react deployment which is a part two inside that i'll be explaining the all the left out points and few extra points also so it will be more fun in that uh, you will be able to understand every single thing uh, yeah uh, I, I forgot some important points also actually in that video later i got to know so anyways i'll be creating that a separate video for that a part two so you can just subscribe and stay tuned for that or if you are already know that then it's well and good or you can wait until then maybe it will come in a week or, or sooner maybe okay so yeah, that's it.